But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Can Niji Sanji get sued for harassment? That is what we're, I'm asking of you, and I'm asking of everyone today. Uh, welcome today. This is the Mad Salvi. We are talking about a situation that I have been made aware of that started developing yesterday, but has some updates today, and that's why I wanted to get to it. Uh, it is about harassment that Niji Sanji has been doing against an artist, and it's a small artist, I think, so... Maybe nothing will come of it. Maybe something will. We will see. Here we are, starting off. Artist warned threatened by any color over unfounded rumors that she leaked confidential information. An artist streamer in Japan tweeted yesterday that she received a warning threatening letter from Arnie Any Color. According to the document, Any Color states that they heard from the third party she leaked confidential information that violates their contract and harms Any Color's reputation. She denied ever saying these things. The third party who told Any Color is CEO of Unicreate, as seen in the images. She hid some info, but not the names of the CEO. She says that Unicreate refused to pay her for her work, and she had to go to the legal agency, Tokyo Metropolitan Government, to finally get them to pay. And it was right after she received the document from Anycutter, right after she did that. So she wasn't gotten paid. She went to uh, the government to uh, force them to pay her because it was a contract dispute. They paid her, Unicreate did. Then they gave information to uh, Niji Sanji, and Niji Sanji went and tried to threaten her. I dug into this and found out the CEO of Unicreate is known for his bad reputation and any color believed his words without checking but the artist first. The artist got advised by people to consult a lawyer and then deleted the original tweet. This all happened yesterday. This morning, she tweeted again that any color staff with a lawyer badge used CEO signature seal, which is often used in JP business without his permission. I assumed any color gave her a reply after she consulted a lawyer. She tweeted that it is illegal and expressed her surprise and disappointment that the company employs such a person. She also said she feels sorry for the CEO because it probably didn't know about it. Please see links below her tweets in images uh, with information. Now, I, I'm going to get to the tweets, but let's read what happens here. Now, I'm not sure if I believe that Tazumi didn't know about this because one, the tone of the tactic with the document is consistent with what we've seen with the lens termination letter, IR statement, and the black screen stream. Two, Japan is common to make an employee take the fall to preserve a company's reputation. I wish this culture would end, honestly. Either way, I don't think we will find an actual truth, but it is really concerning that they did not check with the artist before sending warning threatening letter. Believe the words of someone with questionable past and any colors legal staff use CEO signature without his permission. Here's where we go into the meat of the issue, the meat and crux of the issue. Uh, the left is Japanese. The right is the actual words. Um, well translated as the best as can the other day we gained reports from the third party that blank the real artist name is leaking our company's confidential information as well as information that will harm our reputation and trust after conducting an investigation we heard reports from akimisumi mochizuki which is a ceo from unisi uh, from you know the place that it was mentioned before uh that you were leaking following information correction it is from unicreate i don't want to blame anybody that isn't there it's from unicreate uh it's basically saying that the CEO from Unicreate, Akimitsu Mochizuki, uh, gave the information that they were leaking something. You were blank. Blank, you had to wait for a long time. They were told you are fired. The company did not pay the cost used to prepare blank. Blank, you, blank, were forcibly fired. This is all redacted stuff, as you can see on the left. The contract we referred to as contract that were made between blank has Article 11 that declares confidentiality and is survivable after the contract ends. Therefore, leaking these facts to third party violates this confidentiality. Also, these facts are facts that harm the company's reputation and trust, so it's unfair practice. Give above reasons. Please do not leak this contract to settlement termination to the third party like these facts. Now, she can leak this one. This one can be leaked because they didn't sign it. It's, again, the same thing that happened with the recent leak of the actual contract and the leak of Sayu's silencing contract. The fact that this has not been signed, this has not been uh, done in any way like that, it isn't an NDA in and of itself because no signature of the other party, so there's no agreement. From what I understand, this is where she can, where uh, Anesama continues. They haven't paid the fees and collective bargaining was not accepted. And just after meeting at the Tokyo, Met Tokyo Metropolitan Government, I finally got them to pay the fees. Can any expert tell me what to do when I receive a threatening letter from another company that believe bad rumors about me that has no evidence? I have not said anything. This is where the lawsuit could possibly come in. Dear all, you should not use your company's signature seal without the consent of the president. If you leave, if you have a lawyer's badge, you know it's illegal. If it gets reported, it'll be a big deal. It's a big deal. This is where she said that, you know, someone with the uh, lawyer credentials in Niji Sanji supposedly signed for him. I don't think it's true. Uh, uh, Rin, ta you know, ta Tazumi does not, Riku Tazumi does not allow anyone 
to do anything in that company without him knowing. So it's a company that's a person that even if they had a lawyer badge, they would listen to people without any evidence, believe it, and forge documents using CEO's signature without CEO's permission. Hmm, I see. Again, assuming she's assuming that Nidhi Sandhi is innocent in all this, and I don't think Riku Tazami is innocent in all this. I got to know the company's standard and was surprised by its interest. I'm done with it. I don't care if other people have been, haven't been harmed. Yeah, you start getting kind of bitter after all this stuff happens. I know there are a lot better companies out there. I don't like companies that make trouble to people. Talking about any color. Is the legal department okay with doing such things, even though they have the lawyer's badge? Um, I was just wondering. The president probably doesn't know anything about it, so I felt sorry for him. Again, assuming the best out of people. I mean, it's nice, but I, I'm just assuming that Riku Tazumi knew exactly what was going on because his name was being used. Please work hard running the company. I was worried about the system in the industry. Please don't do the same to others. I won't discuss this anymore. So there was no supposed to be no discussion at this point. And this was supposed to be the final nail. Again, this was supposed to be the final one, but we get some response today. Uh, there was an update about the threatened artist and they, they made a new post because they weren't able to edit the other one. Artist in question replied to one of the tweets this morning and revealed that she was harassed by any color lawyer in the past. Translation, so actually when he was young and participating in harassment against me in the past, he was kind of a person going crazy in Slack saying, I have a lawyer's badge, I'm really a lawyer, so what am I, I'm saying is correct, so don't talk back to me. So it, it can't be helped, I guess. Also, when I shared this to my lawyer, they backed me up that it was young and inexperienced. This tweet under the original tweet where she stated that the company's signature stamp should never be used without permission. Of course, there are other two tweets she posted yesterday, and they're a little hard to understand because they don't have spe specific subjects, but I did my best to translate. Translation, if I want to lower the stock price, you can give me three million crowdfunding. Then it could be only 30 minutes to one hour per meeting. I have auto recording that easily exceeds that. You don't want to do this, do you? You don't want to hear recording of a woman being yelled at by three men with legal department using the company name and says consensus of the company. This is a meeting, so you need to obey. Don't hang up. So this is Niji Sanji lawyers actually going on the offensive and aggressively attacking her, according to what she's saying here. They were in a meeting and they screamed at her that uh, they, you know, you should listen to them. Do not hang up. That kind of thing. Basically harassing her. And this is all. And from my understanding, Riku Tazumi most likely knows about this. The next one. It's rough that a company in which the internal structure does not change. Did they get scared that the person they've been harassing as much as they want because they thought she was just a young girl properly prepared for a lawsuit and brought in a lawyer and thought they settled the past by paying a small amount of the money they already bargained to lower the price? I'm angry because even though I kept quiet, they still do terrible things. In both tweets, she does not mention any names. She shouldn't jump. To, we shouldn't jump to conclusions. However, there are some important elements that they that I think should pay attention. Mention of the stock price. Uh, she thought she usually, originally people thought that it was Unicreate, but uh, it's not listed in the stock market. So she's talking about any color here. Uh, an audio recording of a conversation in which she was yelled at by three people from the legal department. That tends to be any color. People she's talking about have done terrible things to her in the past, which kept her silence until now. So this is not one time occurrence. Good news is at least she has a good lawyer. I'm still blown away by how any color managed to get to get themselves involved in this issue when the issue was originally between Unicreate and the artist. The whole thing is very concerning, but I'm glad this got out because there could be other artists who are harmed, harassed by just like her. And there's also a possibility of the police investigation if a lawyer using CEO stamp without permission is true. Basically, the big TLDR is that she was threatened by and harassed by any color in the past. Other tweets without mentioning names. She, she was yelled at by three people in the legal department. She has a recording of this and has been suffering harassment and intimidation from them. So this could lead to a lawsuit. This could lead to a lawsuit from her in Japan, of all things. The person with a badge denoting authority goes power tripping. It continues to be an internal phenomenon. Uh, Yeah, basically, this is an internal thing. I don't think this is something that Didi Sanji didn't know about. Personally, we sure any color doesn't have any ties to the Yakuza. These people are young and inexperienced lawyers just dressed up as underling Nepo hires. It could be. I mean, that's a big tinfoil hat thing, of course. But overall, this company is not doing well. This company is not does not have a good structure inside, does not have a good culture inside. And that's what I'm trying to let people know. Of course, this is all just rumor. This is all just one person saying it. I just want to remind you of that. Thank you for watching all this. This is all I have to say about it. Again, this is all a rumor. This is all someone's speculation. This is all somebody saying things about the company, but it is with everything that's come to light, it is easier to believe. It is easier to know that this is most likely true. Again, comment down below if you have any differing opinion. If you think that this is not, this is a nothing burger, they're not going to get sued, any of that kind of stuff. Just let me know. Let me know down below. Also, my socials are in my description as well as a video now that will appear in front of you that you can go and take a look. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Take care of your health, emotional and mental. Be kind to yourselves. And of course, hydrate and all that other fun stuff. Thank you. Bye-bye.